Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Kristen, and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you some renter-friendly decorating tricks. If you're currently living in a rental and feeling a little bit limited by the overall aesthetics of your space, I hope this video gives you some ideas on how you can decorate it and make it your own. So if you enjoy watching and find this video helpful, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit that like button, and let's go ahead and jump right into it. One thing that I think every renter needs when moving into a rental space is the 3M High Strength Small Hole Repair All-in-One. I have bought this so many times because I go through tubes of it. If you want to hang up anything in your home, if it's a TV, your art, a mirror, shelving, I think you can do so as long as you can fill that hole and smooth out your wall. Inside of here is filler. So this can fill your drywall holes. It also has the spatula end that you can smooth it across and flatten it. And then the lid actually has a sandpaper bottom so that you can sand down that area to smooth it out completely. You don't need to have any skill to be able to use this. It's very user friendly and it's the perfect thing that's really gonna give you the confidence to hang whatever you want and know that you'll be able to fix that hole when you take it down. So a lot of the time I skip the command hook method and I go straight for the nails and screws because you can just fill it afterwards and it's no big deal. You can pick this up pretty much anywhere, but I'll have this link down below if you're looking for it. If you've been planning to hang curtains and you need to screw in the curtain rod, you can fill those holes afterwards with this. You can also do it with any art and small nails around your home. This is the perfect thing for every renter or even homeowner. Everyone needs a tube of this. Now, another thing you need to know if you wanna do any kind of customizations around your space are the paint colors. Know your existing paint colors for your walls, your trim, and your door especially the finish of the paint as well. So if you can ask your landlord what these are, that will allow you some flexibility when it comes to painting your space or fixing any holes around your home. You can do all of that as long as you know what the paint colors are. Some landlords will actually leave extra paint behind, maybe in a closet or a garage, so that you have that if needed. This again will give you the confidence to paint the walls, paint a door, and have the flexibility to bring it back to its original state. I think paint goes a very long way when it comes to rentals. You can brighten up a space, you can refresh a space, you can create moodiness and customizations, all with paint. I think if you're living in a rental for more than a year, it's important to invest in your space to make it happy and enjoyable while you're there. I'm all about creating a custom environment that really suits my needs, and I will do that in rentals to really make the most of it. So if you're looking at different rental options or if you've been in your rental for a long time and it's just feeling a little stark, boring, dark, or old, it might be fixable with just a coat of paint. Now, usually when you see your rental for the first time, you're seeing it empty. All your focus is on the floor finish, the cabinet finish, the walls, all of those things that you might not have control over changing. So I've learned to not get too hung up on those finishes and focus on the things that you can add to the space, which is furniture and decor. You can distract a ton of attention away from those ugly elements by creating beautiful spaces with furniture and decor. It's all about styling and picking all the right pieces that you really love that's gonna make your space feel your own and make your space feel custom. If you have boring flowers, at walls at a gallery wall. It really creates a 3D element. It brings color and personality into a space. And without it, it looks like a rental. So hang the art, hang the decor, decorate your space, furnish it the way you love, because those are the things that you do have control over. When choosing furniture and decor for your home, think about the longevity of those pieces. I think it's best to go neutral with your furniture. So you can move that furniture piece from your first rental to your second and maybe your future home one day. I think it's better to work in neutrals so that you can add your decor and customize your space from one place to the next with small decor and soft furnishings. So even if your rental is short term, think long term when it comes to your furniture and decor choices. One thing I've noticed about every single rental is the lack of lighting. Dark spaces, different colored temperature light bulbs, just an overall weird lighting sense. So I think you can absolutely fix that just by bringing in your own lighting and using renter-friendly methods of lighting your space. This can be wall sconces that are battery powered or plug-in, so you don't have to hardwire them to your walls. This will add so much more lighting to your space and make your rental feel larger. You can also, of course, bring in table lamps and floor lamps that are gonna brighten up your space and just make it feel so much more homey and cozy. You can add battery powered picture lights to 
customize any art around your home, and you can always swap out any light fixture. As long as you keep the original light fixture and you don't throw it away, you are good to go. Layered lighting from ceiling lights, wall lights, table lights is going to complete your space and make it feel like home. Now, if you're a renter that's been dreaming of having picture frame molding in your rental, I think you can absolutely do it. If you have your small hole repair filler and you have your paint color, you can go ahead and install picture frame molding. There's so many ways of installing picture frame molding, some that are more permanent than others. I've installed picture frame molding to be very permanent with brad nailers, construction adhesive, caulking the edges, painting over top, that's gonna really create a permanent solution that's not gonna be able to come off the walls very well. But you can also install your picture frame molding in a little bit more of a renter friendly way by using just the brad nailer. So you don't put any construction adhesive on the back, you don't caulk the edges, all you're gonna do is nail the trim into the wall. This is gonna allow you to just pop that trim off when you leave. There's no anchors in there, there's nothing that's gonna destroy your walls. So it holds while you need it to hold and if you want it gone, you can pull it right off. Now sometimes it can be the doors around your rental that are the problem. A lot of rentals don't come with the prettiest closet doors. So sometimes it's actually easier to remove them all together to create a brand new look. If you still need a door alternative, I think a great way of creating that divider is with a floor to ceiling curtain, something with a lot of pleating and texture that can really create that privacy that a door would. Or if you're not needing those closets for storage, use your closets to create more extra square footage in your rental. Maybe you're looking to create an office or a little reading nook. You can do that in your closet space. You can put a desk in there you can add lighting. You can decorate it to really make it feel like something that would add value to your home. So don't let these old closet doors stop you from customizing your space. There's so many workarounds to them if you just take the doors down. Now, another small detail that you can include in your rental to help elevate the look of it overall are cord covers. Cord covers are just a peel and stick cover that can go over top of any TV cords, lamp cords, computer cords, all of the cords that are really making your space look temporary and like a rental. These come in different colors, but they can also be painted. So you can always camouflage them into your walls by painting them the same color. You can also strategically hide them behind decor. It's always something you should do when decorating your space. So if your home is looking a little messy and you're seeing a ton of cords everywhere, this is absolutely something you should do. Now it's very understandable that a lot of renters do not love the flooring around their home. They didn't get to choose it. It may not be their color scheme. It may not be the exact look they're going for, but a rug can go a very long way. They can hide the look of the flooring that you don't like and add to the design that you're going for. You can brighten up your home with a lighter colored rug that's really going to help add more light and brightness to your space. And always remember when it comes to rugs, go larger rather than smaller. Small rugs are gonna make your space look really small and large rugs are really gonna expand the look of your home and make every single room look larger and longer. You can also extend this outdoors as well. So bringing in outdoor rugs is always going to create a more elevated custom look in any outdoor space. They can look just like your indoor rugs so that you can really create a cohesive look across your entire home. And lastly, it's very important to prioritize storage. When it comes to your rental, you're probably just working with whatever closet space you have and you may be lacking storage space. So anywhere that you can create a storage opportunity, you should. So I love using large baskets, cabinets, underbed storage, sideboards, any opportunity you can get to hide clutter away, take it. So always create more storage opportunities across your entire home and in every single space. You can also maximize the inside of all of your cabinet space by creating organization opportunities in there. It will allow you to double your storage and decorate your space all in one. When your rental is organized and clutter free, it's going to make your entire space feel and look so much better. All right, so that's it for my renter-friendly decorating tips. I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I hope this gave you the motivation and encouragement you needed to get started in styling your rental space. Whether they're short or long-term, it's always important to love the space you're in and make it feel like home. So any way you can do that, go ahead and do it, as long as you can make it look like the way it did when you first saw it. Let me know down below in the comments if you're in a rental right now, and if you could use any of these decorating tips in your space. And if you enjoyed watching and found this video helpful, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit that 
like button and make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss the upcoming videos. Click that red subscribe button down below and make sure you guys have my notifications turned all the way on so you're first to see the next video. Love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.